McCook's Mr. Bill. Here's a, a piece of gold I found way back here in southwest Nebraska. Had it forever, it seems like. Oh, they say it's worth about $300, give or take. I've hawked it a number of times at the pawn shop when things got scarce in my time. I always buy it back, though, when I get a chance. I'm here to tell you, though, I don't know a single person, not a single person, that would give up their life for all the gold in the world. No one would do that, give up their life. At the same time, I know dozens and dozens of people in my 59 years that have committed suicide, have taken the gift that God gives everyone, the most valuable gift on earth, life, and they've killed themselves. They've thrown it away. And it is just a modern thing. My wife's great-grandfather had a nice little farm on the Missouri River, and he uh, decided that he was going to get bigger, and he knew that he could buy land out southwest Nebraska and get three times the land that he had back there for the selling his farm back there. So he sold his farm, came out here. Well, in two years, he found out real quick what drought and that word means out here. And he was so depressed and so beaten that he got on the train and went back there to his farm that he had sold you know, along the Missouri River, and he hung himself in that barn out of sheer desperation and frustration. He gave up. We had a, a gentleman north of McCook, and he had went to Las Vegas, and in no time he had won ten thousand dollars and he said I know how to do it now he said I know how to beat them and he came back and he hawked his farm every penny of that farm and all the wealth he had and he went down to Vegas with three quarters of a million dollars and that three quarters of a million dollars he lost that almost as quickly as he won the ten thousand so depressed he came back and he killed himself out on his farm that was no longer his. Suicide is also not just for adults. Three young ladies here in McCook decided they wanted to become immortal by committing suicide together, a suicide pact, if you will. Well, one of them chickened out and told her mother. And so she and her mother went to the next house over where it was, where that next child was, and stopped that suicide. They then got in the car and uh, went over to the next a uh, block or two over to the other, the third girl, and as they pulled up to the yard uh, to that house, they heard a gunshot, and that girl had committed suicide. It doesn't get much sadder than that. We had, before I started being Mr. Bill, there was a 10-year-old kid, and he had shoplifted from a store here in McCook. And the uh, kid, uh, he, uh, just a couple of dollars, the cops came then, and the cop gave him a ticket and told him to go home, and he said he'd be contacting the folks uh, for the trial date. And he told the kid, he said, you're headed for prison. You're headed for prison. The 10-year-old uh, kid went home and so terrified he put a gun in his mouth and blew his head off. The cop publicly said later that he meant to say that uh, if you don't quit stealing, you're headed for prison. But he didn't say it that way. And because he didn't, that boy, so frustrated and youthful, killed himself. But the cop finished his statement publicly by saying, it's not my fault, the kid's stupid. Not my fault. That kid was stupid. So much for the cop. But I'm here to tell you that the witches tell me that when you commit suicide, that gives the devil the right and the demons to dance on your grave. And it puts a curse not only on you, but future generations of your family are more apt to have it happen. Because just as wolves circle and target the weakest of a herd, the demons 
assume that the rest of the family will also be more apt to commit suicide and will circle and try to get them to commit suicide. There's a lot of you out there protecting yourselves with weapons in the seen world, but the unseen world is always after you. I want to keep you safe in this world, and I want you to live a long life, and I want you to be able to go to heaven, because I'd sure like to see you there, too. This is McCook's Mr. Bill. Rate this film.